Hello everyone! This video, I'm gonna talk about something that happened to me in a store. I went to the grocery store, obviously with my mask, my hair was down like this, and the cashier woman who was about my age, maybe a bit younger, who has dyed hair and she had some white showing, said to me, is that your gray hair? I said, yes it is. And she says, did you dye it or anything like that? I go, no, this is, it took me three years for it to come down up to here. She said, how did you get it to be like that? And I said, I, I didn't, I just came out, this is the way it is. And then she said, but you're so lucky. It looks so good on you. It would look horrible on me. And I said, oh, how do you know it would look horrible on you? And she said, because my gray hair is ugly. And I said, oh, okay, so you had gray hair before? Her hair was up to here. She goes, no, 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 but I know it's ugly. If you guys have been following my channel, you know that this for me is something that it bothers me because I want everybody to know their worth and their worth is always here. Their worth is not here. It's everybody's worth is very high. So for somebody to say I am ugly, that lowers the value of one, that is put in your head by somebody. How do I know that? Because that's what was done to me <laughs> for the longest time. Even though I fought it every day because it's my personality, there are some people that actually crumble under that pressure. It's normal that we say that gray hair is ugly because we've been brainwashed to believe that gray hair is ugly. I mean, it's commercial after commercial after commercial. It's the misogyny of society. It's women who have internalized misogyny in them that was put in them by other societal factor. Mainly they were made to feel ashamed of who they were. So they internalized that shame and they become misogynist themselves. These are the women who don't support women. These are the women who put down other women. They don't do it because they are actually bad people. They do it because they were brainwashed to do that because we were brainwashed to believe that only the male species is the higher up there. Whenever I hear anybody call themselves anything, I know it comes from somewhere of pain. It doesn't come from somewhere of constructed criticism because if it were constructed criticism, they would probably do, oh, I have, I don't know, an aquiline nose. Well, I could work with that and do ta da 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 or, you know what, it's not what I want, I'm gonna get a nose job. That's perfectly fine. But if somebody comes from a place of pain, they're just gonna say, I am ugly, I'm disgusting, I have the ugliest nose, nobody loves me, who's gonna look at me? You follow me? That's the difference. Going back to the cashier who talked about her hair being ugly, I said to her, you know, you could say I don't like it, which is constructive criticism, I don't like it, and that's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna do something about it, and her case is to dye it. Perfect, but you cannot say it's ugly because that comes from a place of pain. And if that comes from a place of pain, you have to find out what's hurting you. Fix that, and then you can do make a decision as best it pleases you, as long as you're using the right tools and you're being constructive critic. I said that to her and I said, ugly doesn't exist. You can say, I don't like it. That's perfectly fine. But you cannot say it's ugly. And from now on, every time you're going to say anything about yourself, it's ugly. I hope you remember my words and stop yourself and say, wait, it's not ugly. I don't like it. Train your brain to see things as critically as possible instead of somewhere from pain. She was so happy that I said that to her. And this all happened within two minutes. I wasn't a long conversation, but she was so happy. She actually got tears in her eyes and she goes, in all my life, nobody has ever explained this to me. And it makes so much sense. And then she says, I don't like gray hair on me. And I said, perfect, that's fine. Don't have gray hair. There is no law against dyeing your hair. I know women who live to a hundred years and still dye their hair. Do what makes you happy. You have to think about you first. And thinking about you first is not being selfish. It's loving yourself. And the more you love yourself, the more you can give to others. 
selfish or narcissism actually we're gonna separate that selfish is when somebody is only thinking about themselves and acting upon themselves doing themselves making themselves happy without any worries on what they're doing how it can cause a negative effect to somebody how can saying to yourself hey I love you, oh, you're so beautiful, oh, I, I love you so much. To yourself, how in, can this affect negatively anybody? Oh, actually, parenthesis, maybe it can affect negatively someone if you love yourself so much that you realize that the people who are next to you, they're actually toxic people that they should be tossed. You don't have to be mean, you just stop talking to them or you just stop inviting them. And if they don't like it, well, that's what you want. You want them away from your life. Toss the toxic. <laughs> and that's not negative. That's not negative. The other word that people love to put on people that talk about self-love is narcissism. Narcissism is actually a clinically diagnosed mental illness. It deals with people hurting people on purpose, controlling them, wanting them to be under their domain because the narcissistic person is himself, herself under a lot of pain. And the way they best deal with this pain is by causing pain to others. Say it to yourself, I love you. God, I'm gorgeous. Oh, look at me. Oh. Me, 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 me. How am I causing pain to somebody? Be more aware of your thought process. And remember this, with this video, I want you to remember this. There is no such thing as ugly. It doesn't exist. It literally doesn't exist. What exists is, I don't like it. Now you're gonna say, oh yeah, but beautiful exists, huh? That's because beautiful encompasses everything. Everything under the sun is beautiful, regardless of its shape, color, size, it doesn't matter. It's all there. Whereas ugly, it's a judgment. Replace ugly by I don't like it. Work on that. And that's a lesson I learned when I was 15 and I was taking art. And my art teacher, once that I said to a painting, I said, oh, it's ugly. He told me there is no such thing as ugly. So it's a lesson that I've been carrying with me in my head rent free for 40 years now. And lest you forget, you are intelligent, valid, powerful, and fabulous. Thank you so much for watching. Gros bisous.